If hope was this intangible thing, why do people lose it? Why do people lose hope if it was not tangible? You know, um, some people become um, hopeless and some people are hopeful. So there's got to be a connection there somewhere. When most people ask me, what is hope? Um, hope is, is kind of tricky. It, it's kind of tricky because most people think hope is just it's some intangible thing. It's, it, it's something that you can't even grab a hold of. It's, it's almost like air. Um, and, and it's some mystical happening that just happened you know, inside of you, but you, you can't put a finger on it, so to speak. But, I don't think that hope is like that. I think hope is more than just the intangible. Really, it really is. And most people um, think that because hope cannot be held, it cannot be um, embodied, then you have to chase it. And I disagree. The reason why I disagree is because if hope was this intangible thing, why do people lose it? Why do people lose hope if it was not tangible you know um, some people become um, hopeless and some people are hopeful so there's got to be a connection there somewhere there has to be a connection there somewhere um, hope when I think of hope I think of hope as a, a type of happiness that overcomes pain and error now happiness that overcomes pain and error meaning that Sometimes you can be full of this hope. You can be full of this happiness. It's an internal expression that comes to empower you. It encourages you. It inspires you. It transforms you. And it motivates you. In other words, happiness or joy is a function of your spirit. It's that thing that you can't see, but you actually experience it. Happiness or joy is not a thing you put your finger on. It's an experience. You can have a little bit of this experience or you can have a lot of this experience. That's what happiness is. So happiness is the first part of hope. The O in hope is to overcome. That means it's forward thinking. It's always looking forward to something. It's always thinking that there is something greater than the now. And it has to overcome. The greatest part about this O in hope, it means that it comes to build you. It comes to make you stronger. It comes to shape you into the great person that you were created to be. It helps you to get to the destination where you're supposed to arrive at. But the greatest part about this O, it has everything to do with the journey. You have to overcome. That's the O in hope. Now the P is pain. While you're going through this journey, there's going to be some pain. There's going to be some letdowns. There's going to be some discouragement. There's going to be some, oh, I can't believe that person did that to me. Yes, you're going to have some of these. And you have to overcome these pain, these perilous times. You have to persevere. You have to see yourself as a person with patience when you're going through this P section of hope. Because the O means overcome. There's going to be pain. And guess what? The last part, the last word in hope is <laughs> error. There's going to be some mistakes. People are going to make mistakes. You are going to make mistakes. But the mistakes come to show you that there is more room for growth. There's more room for growth and development. And when you get through this development cocoon, so to speak, you become the butterfly that will fly away and rise above all the hurt, all the pain you have overcome. And then you will come to see that a hope is happiness, it's a joy, it's a spiritual 
experience that overcomes pain and error. This is what gives you the hope to continue, to look forward, to have that forward thinking, to not have that limiting beliefs, but to have that take the limitations off your beliefs and make them practical. This is the hope we speak of. Hope is happiness that overcomes pain and error. And anyone who experiences hope will know that is not intangible. It is so tangible. It is the experience that makes the difference. This is Andrew Guy for Andrew Guy Speaks of Calm reminding you that I'm going back to life so better tomorrow. I'm building people, connecting communities, and I'm growing team. And I just stopped by to encourage you today to never ever, never lose hope because hope will never lose you until you experience it in its full entirety. Hope is a human experience that makes us more human than we are inhumane when we hurt. Remember, you're going to get hurt, people are going to make mistakes, but you have to overcome them so you can experience the happiness, the joy that make the journey well worth it. This has been a slice hanging out with you. Take care of yourself and have yourself a great day. Remember, pick up a copy of my book. Somebody has got my yes the achievement formula. Take care. Peace.